What's up, guys? It's me again, Coach Bobby. I'm back. I know I've been gone for a while. I've been gone for a long time. Haven't talked to you in a bit, but I'm back. I've been inspired. I've been inspired by guess who? That's right, Jackie Bluford, my 11, soon to be 12 year old daughter. Got me back in front of you. She's been doing videos, y'all. She's been doing videos once, twice a week. She inspired me to get back in front of you guys and begin a dialogue again. Let's get back to work, guys. All right, so what's today? What's today? December 18th. December 18th. What does that mean? We have two weeks left, guys. Two weeks left to 2015. It's in the books, okay? And then we're in 2016, okay? Many of us, most of us, a lot of us did not accomplish our goals, right? Whether it be professional, uh, personal, financial, and of course, fitness, okay? January 1st, 2015, we had this laundry list of things we wanted to do, right? Many of which included fitness goals, lose 20, 30 pounds, right? Go to the gym more often, run more often, eat better. Well, many of us didn't do that, okay? But like in sports, like in sports, there's always another game, right? Another season, okay? In life, there's always a new chance, another year, okay? And in two weeks, we get a new chance, baby. And I'm excited. I'm pumped, all right? What are we going to do this year, all right? It's going to be different. It's going to be different, I promise you. Why? I'm giving you the secret ingredient, okay? I'm with you this year. I'm going to hold you accountable. You're going to hold me accountable, okay? So what's the ingredient? Mental toughness, okay? We have it in our lives everywhere else but fitness, right? We have it, we have it professionally. We might have it personally. A lot of us have it financially, right? But when it comes to our fitness, we don't have mental toughness, okay? But we're going to get it. We're going to get it because you know what? Deep down inside of us, our DNA comes from toughness. We don't come from weakness. None of us do. If you're in America, you don't come from weakness. It's not in your DNA, all right? I don't care who you are. If you're African-American, slaves came over here. We were slaves one time, right? They weren't weak, right? If you are a Syrian or Latin or German or whatever you are, your ancestors, right? Not even ancestors. Two Maybe three generations ago, they came here from abroad with nothing, right? They endured a lot, little money, okay? They got through it. They're tough. Native Americans, right? They were here for, for a lot for, for hundreds of years. They got treated, you know, horribly, correct? Right? They got through it. So my point is none of us come from weakness. It's not in our DNA. Alright? So let's get that out the out the out the way right now. What we're going to do now is tap into that, okay? It's in all of us, okay? So in 2016, right, we're going to all be mentally tough. Whatever we decide to do on January 1st, we're going to accomplish through mental tough, through discipline, and through consistent action, okay? All right, so, so I'll keep it short, all right? Once a week, I'm going to try once a week to check in with you guys. Again, I'm going to hold you accountable. You're going to hold me accountable, all right? So line one, okay? Homework assignment number one before next time. Before the end of the year, I want you to figure out your why. What's your why? What does that mean? Okay, when times get tough, and they will get tough with fitness, when, when you don't want to go to the gym in the morning, when you're too tired and too sore to work out, what's going to drive you? What's going to get you into the, into the gym? For me, I know I can't stop. I can't stop. I got too many people depending on me to help them. Okay, so I can't stop. Right? Your why has to overcome all the pain and the frustration. So before now, between, between now and January 1st, I want you to figure out what your why is going to be. Okay, What's the reason beyond how you're going to look? What's the reason that you want to get in shape? Okay, It may be for health purposes. Maybe you want to live a long time to be around, to, to walk your daughter down the aisle, to see your grandkids. Maybe, grandkids. Maybe you're overweight. Right? And you need to lose weight to be healthy. Okay? Maybe you want to set a good role model for your kids. All right? Maybe you want to look good for a cruise or a wedding. Okay? Whatever it is, I want you to figure out what your why is. And make it strong enough, guys. Strong enough so that when it gets hard, and it will get hard, you have something to, to, to lean on. Right? That drives you and motivates you. Okay? Because if the why is strong enough, the what, the what don't matter. The what won't matter. Okay, and, and 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 one step further, we don't need to, we don't need to know the what right now, just the why, right? If the why is strong enough, we'll figure out the what. 
okay? So step one, okay? Homework number one, tell me what your why is, okay? Figure out what your why is so that we can get this, this journey toward our fitness goal started on a good foot, all right? Until next time, I want you to write down what your why is, okay? And let me know what it is. Be accountable to your, to your family and friends, all right? But most importantly, have something that drives and motivates you, all right? So until next time, uh, again, right? Until next time, this is Coach Bobby. I'll talk to you soon.